Julio Cesar Chavez, who has been a professional for 20 years, fought first in 1980. So he has been a professional since then. He won titles in the junior lightweight, the lightweight, junior welterweight, and welterweight division. And he has fought literally a who's who of two generations of great boxers from 130 pounds up to 147. You name them, and they are somewhere on the list of Julio Chavez's opponents. He has fought them in his prime. He has fought them as he's gotten older. And it has always been dramatic. Win, lose, or draw. And now we are looking at what could be the curtain call of this great champion. Let's go up to Gene Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the main event of the evening. Prepare to welcome the boxers to the ring. First, ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger introducing Julio Cesar Chavez. It is not an understatement to say that this place is pandemonium. The adulation of the crowd literally almost too much. Chavez desperately trying to make his way in without all the onlookers and well-wishers touching him. You see the scene here. A six-time world champion. 20 years as a professional, many years as a legend. And I don't think there's barely room for Chavez in that ring, but he does get in, and the crowd erupts. Will we see the Julio Cesar Chavez of days gone by? Or will we see the Julio Cesar Chavez who only two fights ago lost to journeyman Willie Wise? Even in his last loss before that to Oscar De La Hoya, he showed sparks of greatness before putting on his stool in the eight, after the eighth round. Can he summon up what it took for him to win those championships? Can he even summon up what he did in 1998 in a draw with Miguel Angel Gonzalez that many believe he won, in which he performed so well in front of a huge crowd in Mexico City? There is certainly no lack of support for Chavez here in this arena. Costa Zoo will clearly be coming into a hostile environment. You see the decidedly Mexican flavor in the ring with the mariachi band, the Mexican colors, and this crowd. So many Latin boxing fans here to root on Chavez. That is Jose Suleiman, the president of WBC of Mexico. And you almost could see emotion welling up in the face of Suleiman as he stood in the ring with Chavez for what could be the last time that Julio Cesar Chavez will ever stand in a boxing ring as a participant. This man has won 103 matches, lost four with two draws, and is at 86 KOs. There is Costa Zoo, and part of the reason why he is waiting to come out, and it doesn't all have to do with trying to make Chavez wait, they are a little concerned about the security. You saw how difficult it was for Chavez to get through the crowd. 
Costa Zoo and his people are a little concerned that maybe the security won't be able to get him to the ring without some kind of mishap. And that is the last thing you would want as you're heading in to defend your title, to have anything happen that would disrupt your concentration. So Costa Zoo is waiting, and so is Julio Cesar Chavez, and so is the crowd. People cleared from the ring. Though clearly, there's Lad Wharton, who you saw earlier in the telecast, of course, the promoter of this event, and uh, also manager of uh, Costa Zoo, his promoter. And uh, I believe they're, they would like some of the people cleared from the ring. That's part of the issue, although that group has certainly gotten to be less and less, and now it does look like a manageable number. And so now, Costa Zoo and his people will begin to make their way. Here's Jimmy Lennon. Costa Zoo! Costa Zoo, the WBC super lightweight champion, a native of Russia who in 1991 traveled to Australia, won a world championship, an amateur championship of 139, fell in love with the country, decided to pass up the 1992 Olympics, went to Australia and turned pro, brought with him his girlfriend Natasha, they would get married later, and he says, I have two sons now, I have great friends and I have good neighbors in Australia, and I love it there, as you all well know he does. And now he carries the banner of Australia into his championship matches, and that is what he is doing here tonight as he heads in for the third defense of his WBC super lightweight title. A 30-year-old champion in his second reign as champion. He's got power, he's got hand speed, and he can punch. Is he headed into an ambush with 38-year-old Julio Cesar Chavez? Is this fight as much of a cakewalk for Zhu as many people have made it out to be? Or is there a surprise awaiting him when he gets in the ring? And will he leave with that, the WBC title belt? The walk to the ring was uneventful, or has been so far for Costa Zoo. They did a very good job, the security did, of creating more space for him, at least thus far. He looks relaxed, as he usually does. He is not a boxer or a man given to extremes in emotion. But he has fire in the ring, make no mistake about that. And of course, you all have seen it many, many times. 38-year-old Julio Cesar Chavez has been waiting in this ring for a long time, maybe on to 10 minutes or so, and we'll have to see if he cools off. And here comes Costa Zoo making his way into the ring. He might not be greeted politely. That is the scene here as Costa Zoo gets ready to come over the top of these ropes, as is his custom. There he is. And so the moment is at hand that we have waited for. Costa Zoo defending his super lightweight title against the once legendary, and is he still excellent, Julio Cesar Chavez? We're going to find that out. Zhu is 30, Chavez is 38, but the gulf between them maybe even feels like more than eight years. The Chavez has been campaigning for so long, 20 years as a professional, has been involved in many wars, many tough matches. And we will find out tonight just what he has left in the tank. He entered the... The tension in this arena is palpable. And I think everybody has the same thing in their mind. Let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, Arizona for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Vlad Wharton's Millennium Events in association with Don King Productions, Showtime Championship Boxing, and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. This bout coming away, ladies and gentlemen, is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Mario Latraverse, along with the Arizona State Boxing Commission, the Chairman Michael Preston Green, Commissioners Sally Garza Fernandez and Patrick McGroder. Executive Director is John Montano. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring it out from ringside from West Covina, California, Marty Dinkin. From Buena Park, California, Chuck Hassett. And from Tucson, Arizona, Gerald Maltz. And the referee in charge of this bout, working in this his 27th world title bout, Bobby Ferrara. All right, fans. Here we go with the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Phoenix, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, proudly wearing the colors of his home country, green, white, and red, and hailing from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at the super lightweight limit of 140 pounds. He enters the ring with a true legends record of 103 wins, four losses, two draws, with 86 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBC number one super lightweight contender. Here is the six time world champion. Please welcome El Gran Campeón Mexicano, introducing Julio. Cesar Chavez! And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold lettering, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Serov, Russia, he weighed in at a ready 139 and one half pounds with a record of 24 wins, one loss and one draw. He has 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBF world champion and the current WBC super lightweight champion of the world, introducing Kostya. Once again, a referee in charge, Bobby Ferrara, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, you've been given the instructions earlier in the day. I expect a clean fight from both of you. Your trunks are in great shape. No punching on the trunks, okay? Protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands, go back and wait for the bell. So we are set to go. Well, many have suggested this fight shouldn't happen. They have said Julio Cesar Chavez has no chance. Don't tell that to the 15,000 people in this arena, because as you could hear, they think they can will him to a victory, but not so easy when you're facing Costa Zou. Zou coming right out after Chavez. Round one, it is of course scheduled for 12. Zhu in the black trunks as you see, Chavez in the traditional green, red, and white co colors of Mexico. Chavez moving, getting hit with the left hook right off the bat. Can Chavez box more? Can he move more? That is the style that sometimes gives Costa Zhu a little bit of trouble. Zhu is a very big puncher who of course has also been down several times in his career. Good body work by Zhu. Good left hand by Chavez. And of course, any punch that lands by Chavez will be met with a roar of approval by this crowd. Chavez has boldly predicted he will knock Zhu out within eight rounds. 
Costa, needless to say, skeptical of that, but very respectful during the course of this week and talking about the fight. Said, I'll win, but he was respectful of Chavez and his place in boxing history. About halfway through round one. It has been Chavez mostly retreating, but occasionally throwing some counter punches. The jab of Zhu, an underrated punch that is very good. Left hook lands by Zhu. Here comes Chavez, and the crowd goes insane with every punch. Nice right hand by Chavez, and a good counter by Costa Zhu. It's heating up already here in round one. Costa Zhu landing a good left hook. Overhand right by Chavez. It's a shootout here in round one. Good right hand by Costa Zhu. Both men landing some big punches early in this bout. Crowd chanting for Chavez. Half a minute left to go here in round one. It's been a blazing start. Chavez, of course, has a tendency to cut in recent fights. That is something Zhu would like to take advantage of, and Costa lands a very nice combination. Good left hook on the inside by Chavez. Costa Zhu back with the right hand. So seconds remaining in round one, and it was a scorcher already. Excellent first round. at least to this point. So here comes Costa Zou, the 30-year-old champion, ripping shots to the head of the 38-year-old Julio Cesar Chavez. Zou making the third defense of his WBC super lightweight title, a title that Chavez once held himself. Chavez, of course, has had titles in four different weight divisions. The jab by Costa Zou. Chavez rushing in, and Chavez using his hand to lace the face of Zou. Warning by Bobby Ferrer for holding. Chavez not above using tactics that are not legal. He's done it before in his career throughout. And there, he tries to hit on the break. So don't expect this to be fought exactly according to the Marcus of Queensbury rules by Julio Cesar Chavez. The jab and left hand by Chavez. Costa Zou using his own jab very effectively early in this fight. Zhu coming off a win over Ahmed Santos. Santos, though, when asked by the press whether Chavez had a chance, said, I think Chavez does have a chance. Zhu is a very good fighter, but he's not quite as powerful as people think. And he's also susceptible to body punches, and he thought that's where Chavez could get something done. Well, we'll see. Zhu working very well with the left hand, not only with the jab, but also with the left hook. Chavez is very economical with his punches, not throwing too many. See a combination by Zhu. They clash heads there, and that's always a problem in Chavez fights. Left hook gets in by Chavez. 
only two fights ago and a woefully out of shape. Julio Cesar Chavez lost to Willie Wise. People wrote him off. Many suggested this fight would be a completely one-sided affair and that he shouldn't even be in there. Well, we'll see. So far, it's been relatively even. Though I would give the edge to Zoo in these rounds, but only by a little. Chavez does not want to be against the ropes. He's had problems there in recent fights against Wise and against De La Hoya. Right hand misses by Chavez. And now the balance of Chavez becoming a real issue. And as you look at him, the difference between the Chavez now and four or five years ago is very few combinations. The jab of Costa Zou, very effective early in this bout. At the bell, an excellent combination by Zou punctuates what for him was a very good first round. Costa's dead. That's my good dad. Looking on. If you're wondering what they weigh now, at, after weighing in at 140 pounds, Costa Zou is 150, and uh, Chavez refused to be weighed just before the fight. Here's Chavez trying to lace him with his uh, glove, and Costa kind of just smiling as if to say, hmm, that's an old trick I would expect from you. And there is Chavez trying to bring his head in and kind of bang his head with his own head. So there is no trick. Legal or illegal that Julio Cesar Chavez doesn't know and hasn't employed over his 20-year career. And you might see them all tonight, since it may be his swan song. He'll leave nothing in the dressing room. We enter the round three. Championship match. I'm Al Bernstein, happy to be a part of this broadcast Australia on the Millennium Network as we bring you Costa Zoo defending his title against Julio Cesar Chavez. Zoo's only loss, of course, to Vince Phillips. He lost his IBF title in the process. Vince Phillips fought a remarkable fight that night. So did Zoo in, in many ways. It was a wildly exciting match, which still ended up losing by TKO. Since then, he has not lost. He won the WBC Super Lightweight title and has defended it twice. Good right hand, counter right by Costa Zoo. Just about a minute gone here in round three. Chavez, you can see, reaching with that right hand. That's the punch that many believe you can land against here. But you better be quick with it. You better be accurate. Zhu won his first title over Jake Rodriguez, a stylish, classy lefty. I was there to broadcast that fight. It was an upset victory in some people's minds. Many did not know how good Costa was. He gave a brilliant performance that night. He dominated Jake Rodriguez. And I remember a, while broadcasting that fight thinking this is a future boxing star. And he has been there. More than halfway through the third round, it's scheduled for 12. Costa Zou controlling the tempo of this fight. They may have clashed heads there, and you saw Chavez react to that. Wild left hook misses. Chavez pushing forward, but in recent fights has done it the way you just saw, kind of lunging ahead with no regard to defense. And I think Julio Cesar Chavez already looks a little fatigued. A low blow by Chavez. Clearly a low blow. Blatantly low blow. Bobby Ferraro warning him. I think Chavez thought he was responding to what Zhu did, but I, I didn't think Zhu's was that low. Oh, we've seen three tricks from Chavez. They trade left hooks. Who's got their better? Half a minute left to go here in round three. And Costa Zhu, a very methodical and effective performance so far. Taking control of these rounds and doing most of the good work. Round one was wildly exciting. Rounds two and three, Zhu has just methodically gotten the job done. 
And Chavez has slowed his pace considerably. Chavez pushed back as round three comes to a close. And some of the energy from this crowd has been taken out of them by the fact that Costa Zoo, that Costa Zoo has handled their champion so well and really controlled the tempo of this fight. As we get ready to head into round four. Okay, that's flagrant. All right, I'm telling you, we'll keep it up on panel. Okay, yes, okay. You look at Chavez in his corner. Is his energy being sapped? Does it kind of look like in round three? This is where Chavez goes very, very low. And I went to the belt line, but you got the impression he was aiming even lower than that. Although I guess that would be speculation on my point. They trade left hooks, and Zoo's got there just a little bit better. And there's Costa Zoo landing a good right hand. Can Costa Zoo be knocked down? Yes. He was down twice in 1998 while winning the WBC title against Rivales Hurtado. Um, but of course came off the deck to win that fight. And clearly was, uh, was hurt against Vince Phillips and was down in that fight. But does he have a good chin in general? Yes. And evidence of that is, get, is that he gets up and he's knocked down. Good left hand by Zoo. And there goes Chavez. And that was really Chavez's own doing. Costa Zoo didn't do anything. Chavez was more off balance, and Zoo was trying to get away from him. It is getting a little rough in there. Costa Zoo, when he burst onto the scene, in only his fourth pro fight fought Juan Laporte, a former world champion. And then in his sixth fight fought Sammy Fuentes. Sammy Fuentes, also a former world champ. He was on the fast track even then. In this bout now, Costa Zoo is using his jab to take over control of this fight. And it is punishing Julio Cesar Chavez. It is the single weapon that is controlling this bout the most. Nothing on those Chavez punches. And the jab has been a huge weapon for Costa Zoo. And he looks like he is now ready, unless something really changes, to start going after Chavez and take him apart. And the jab of Zoo continues to rain terror on the face of Chavez. With just over a minute left, the crowd trying to summon up some energy from Julio Chavez, Cesar Chavez. If there is still greatness in Chavez, and small doses of it may have appeared in round one, we have not seen any of it since that time. The 38-year-old former champion now looks very tired, very slow, and is getting hit by most of what Costa Zoo throws. Another warning to Chavez for low blows. One more and they will take a point away. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. Seconds remaining here in round four and the educated zoo jab continues to land on the face of Julio Cesar Chavez. Oh, oh. So round four. Another good one for Costa Zoo. The 30-year-old transplanted Russian. Now one of the most popular boxers Australia has seen in a long time. He's getting the job done. using the jab, and it's a punishing jab. There you see Chavez trying to get over the jab with his own right hand, but it didn't quite happen. Now there, Chavez 
falls to the mat as Zhu is trying to kind of get his hand away from him. Here later on in the round, Costa Zhu ripping body shots and, of course, the ever-present jab. That has been a big weapon for him. So we head into round five of the scheduled 12-rounder, and in this round, Chavez comes out with renewed vigor. Chavez, the 38-year-old former champion. Zhu, the 30-year-old current champion, defending his title for the third time. And Chavez going after Costa Zhu in this round. Well, I guess he figures if he's going to go out, he's going to go out on his shield. Again, the balance of Chavez fails him. He has visited the canvas a couple of times, though not knocked down. And the vigor with which Chavez came out in this round has abated some. He slipped to the canvas. Right hand to the body by Chavez. We mentioned what Santos the man who lost to Zhu last time out said about the body attack of Chavez, how it might be something that would work against Costa Zhu. He hasn't gotten in there too much to throw those shots, but there he works downstairs. Zhu complaining about a low blow again. Bobby Ferrero does not take action. One more blatant low blow, and there will be a point taken away. Zhu throwing combinations, and Chavez against the ropes taking those. Oh, look at the big left hands and right by Costa Zhu, and the left of the body. Chavez looks like he is in some trouble here in round five. The jabs of Zhu have been impressive. And this is the same mode in which Chavez got into in the Willie Wise fight, where he was just backing against the ropes, taking punishment. A minute left to go here in round five. The crowd again tries to summon up something for Chavez. Remember, in here in round five, Chavez came out and started very quickly. But after he fell to the canvas, it seemed to sap some of his energy. That vigor went away. Good right hand by Costa Zhu. And Zhu is doing something in this bout that people don't often give him credit for. He's boxing very smartly. He's not a fancy damn boxer, but look at him. He's got hand speed. He has just enough lateral movement to give Chavez angles. Not only is Costa Zhu fighting a good fight, he's fighting a smart fight. And he's not always given credit for that. And Chavez is fighting a lethargic fight. Chavez looks like he's in trouble right now, and let me not fail to remind you he has quit in between rounds before. Will he do it again? A weary ex-champion goes back to his corner. Just don't let him get a... Don't let him say we found him or anything, mate, okay? We've got our story this round. He's going to give it all he's got in the first minute. We've got to be smart, jab him and move, make him miss. Then we're going to jump on him a little bit, okay? We don't want this to get to the judges. Round five, produce yet another low blow. No, make that two by Chavez. And Costa Zhu looks to the referee. But Zhu would have his day in this round and then some. Look at the jabs and straight right hands. And see the movement of Costa Zhu. He doesn't stay there and let Chavez just come in and hit him. He gives... Chavez some lateral movement. Give Costa Zhu and his trainer Johnny Lewis credit for knowing how to fight this current version of Julio Cesar Chavez. They are very well prepared. You go into round six and you can make a case that it might not go much past this. Because Costa Zhu is having his way. Another low blow. Good left hand by Chavez. And now Chavez getting a little desperate with those low blows. I would take a point away if I was for it, and he will. Low blow. That is absolutely the right thing to do. It came during a Chavez rally, and that's too bad for Chavez. But guess what? You're supposed to throw your punches legally. So point being deducted from Chavez here in the sixth round. And that stopped his ball. Big right hand and down goes Chavez. 
Will he get up? And will he continue? I'm not sure he wants to continue. Costa Zoo is a great finisher. He has Chavez in trouble, and there are almost two minutes left in this round. If this fight gets out of the sixth round, it will be surprising. Chavez comes after him and takes a big left hook. He's getting whacked with big shots. Costa Zoo looking to the referee because of more low blows, but Chavez keeps punching. It's a war here in the sixth round. It gives Chavez credit for fighting back. Zoo whacking him with punch after punch. It was competitive for one round, and since then it has not been. And Bobby Ferreira says enough is enough. Costa Zoo is still champion. And the career of Julio Cesar Chavez may just have ended. After one round of competitive action, it turned into what many felt it would be, a very one-sided affair. The crowd here is not happy about what has happened, and they are pelting the ringside area with drinks and beer. But none of that will change the outcome, and that is that this man, Costa Zoo, has made the third defense of his WBC Super Lightweight title, and for that man, 38-year-old Julio Cesar Chavez, it's over, or at least it should be. At age 30, Costa Zoo has many things potentially ahead of him. Clearly, he would like to fight and unify the title in the 140-pound division. A guy like Sam Judah out there, that would be a, a big money and exciting fight. Could move up and wait. Shane Mosley is waiting at 147 pounds, or maybe an Oscar De La Hoya. So there are things on Costa Zoo's plate right now for Julio Cesar Chavez. I'm sure he is comp contemplating the end of his career. It is unlikely that after this we will see him in another major fight. You can make a strong case that that should not be the case. And as uh, Julio Cesar Chavez looks on in his corner, you can only imagine what's going on in his mind. After a 20-year career, there have been so many glorious moments. This one is not a happy one. And you see there, this is not a happy crowd. Security people have their work cut out for them. You go back. This is when the point was taken away from Julio Cesar Chavez for the low blow which did not sit well with the crowd or with the Chavez camp, but it was an appropriate decision by Bobby Ferrara, completely appropriate. Here's where Zhu hit him with a perfect straight right hand. Down goes Chavez. He got up, he would continue, but ultimately Zhu was just too much for him. And the combination punching of Costa Zhu was I think what was very impressive in that instance, the jab set up the right hand. And when they look back at this win, they will look back at that Costa Zoo jab, and he and Johnny Lewis will love watching that tape because that's a punch he used over and over again. As the crowd here in Veterans Memorial Coliseum, some of them disappointed because they hoped for more from Julio Cesar Chavez. Go to Jimmy Lennon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 30 seconds in round number six. Our referee in charge, Bobby Ferrara, stops the contest at the same time the corner steps in. The winner by way of technical knockout and still the WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Kostya Su. You see that Kostya Su has left this arena and I believe the reason is that they had concern about the safety. 
Jim Gray is with Julio Cesar Chavez. ¿Cómo te sientes? No se pudo, mijo, no se pudo. Muy triste y le muy decepcionado porque le fallé a Don King. I feel very sad. I failed Don King. How about his performance? Not many people thought he would be able to go for as long as he went. Is he upset or how does he feel about his performance? Siento disgustado, dile porque. Dile lo mejor, pero no traía fuerza en mi cuerpo. I gave the best that I could, but my body didn't have the strength. Is it difficult for him at this time because he was unable to respond the way he has for so many years in the ring? Yes, la verdad sí es cierto. No podía responder como me correspondía antes. Le pido perdona. Yes, this is very true. Forgive me. Frustrating. I want to say I'm sorry to all the Latin people. Julio, you have been a tremendous champion. It looks like it's the time for me to retire. Is that definite? Will you retire or, or will you attempt this again? Definitely, sí. Este, creo que no tiene caso. No tuve problemas para el peso, pero no no tenía fuerzas. Su es un buen campeón. Simplemente es un campeón fuerte, nada más. Pero no, definitivamente, no es un gran peleador. Definitely, I feel uh, it's time for me to retire. I just, it, it, I didn't have a problem making the weight. I just, I think it's time for me to leave. Julio, congratulations. You have been a tremendous champion. It's all right, Julio. I love you, man. I love you. Okay, Steve. Thank you. So Julio Cesar Chavez makes it official, and we hope it is official, we hope it stays, um, that he will retire. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hear right now from...